Hi everyone, this is a video showing you a few examples on integration of a logarithmic function. Here I have a five question. Let's look at the question A. To integrate this function, I'm going to apply this formula, which I integrate 1 over x. With respect to x, we get the log x. How do I get this? Because uh, from the differentiation, Differentiate log x, you get 1 over x. And integration is a reverse operation of a differentiation. That's why we have a integrate of 1 over x, you get your log x. Then for this question, there is a coefficient 4 over there. So I can uh, factor out the 1 over 4. Then you can see very directly um, this uh, function can be integrated by this uh, formula. 4, just write it down. Integrate 1 over x with respect to x, you get the log x plus constant c. That's it. To integrate this function, here is the formula when you need to uh, integrate uh, 1 over ax plus b where denominator is a linear. Yeah? This is the linear. And uh, equals to this will be equals to log ax plus b over a. And how do we get this? Because uh, differentiate log ax plus b, we got a 1 over ax plus b multiplied by a. And then uh, the a you move to this side, all right? You integrate both sides, then you, multi you, you divide, you move the a to the other side, you get 1 over a. This is a formula to integrate, uh, 1 over ax plus b. So here I have uh, 7 over 2x plus 3. First, you can take out the 7 first, eh? Then you have a one, integrate 1 over 2x plus 3. Then uh, you apply the formula of this, uh, meaning that the a will be 2 and the b will be 3. To integrate this function, follow the formula that I state here. You have your log. Put the linear function 2x plus 3 into, into the log. You have a log 2x plus 3 over divided by the a. a is the coefficient of the x where it's 2 divided by 2 plus constant c. Then now you can just write down uh, 7 over 2 multiplied by log 2x plus 3 to simplify it. Okay, now we try one more similar question. To integrate this function, we need to take out the 8 then you have a 3 minus 4x, 1 over 3 minus 4x. So compared to the formula, your a, ax plus b will be the negative 4x plus 3, yeah? where your a is negative 4 and the b is positive 3. And now you integrate this function, you have a log. Put in this uh, linear function into the log, you have a log 3 minus 4x. And divided by the coefficient of the x that is negative 4. You have done the integration. So now you just need to uh, simplify it. You get 2. Finally, the answer will be negative 2 log 3 minus 4x plus constant c. There's one more question to strengthen your concept. It's similar to the two questions that I showed before here uh, just now. To take out the 9 coefficient, you have a 1 over 10 plus 7x dx. You can see that this function, the denominator is a linear function. So you can use the same formula where your a is a 7. So when you integrate this function, you have log 10 plus 7x. Just put in your linear function into the log and divided by the coefficient of the x, that will be 7 plus constant c. So now we just... Uh, Simplify in this form. All right. For this question, actually, it's a similar question. Just uh, they will they write uh, their their question their function in the form of a power of negative one. If you try to rewrite it again, that will be the first uh, function. The first term will become like this negative 9 over 1 plus 7x and the second term will become like this dx and now we're going to integrate term by term integrate the first term just write down the negative 9 because here it belongs to the coefficient 
Just write down your coefficient. And now you in, need to integrate 1 over 1 plus 7x. So similar to the question before, you just uh, put down the, put in your, uh, your 1 plus 7x for the log, into the log. Just write down. And then over the coefficient of the x, that is 7. This is the integration of the first term. And for the second term, just write down the negative 3 first because the coefficient is negative 3. And integrate 1 over 2x plus 8, you will have a log 2x, uh, sorry, 2x minus 8 eh, over the coefficient of the x, that will be 2. And now you just need to simplify. Just write down negative 9 over 7 log 1 plus 7x. And a minus 3 over 2, log 2x minus 8. Alright, this is the answer. Now we move to the second question. Question 2, we have four example. First example is a simple one. 2x over x squared dx can be simplified into 2 over x. Where you cancel off the x here. Then you integrate. 2, you can take it out. You can write down the 2 first and then integrate 1 over x with respect to x. You have log x. Just like that, yeah? Then the b, for the question b, I copy down the question first. 3x over 4x squared minus 5. For this question, we need to uh, use the substitution method. Alright, substitute method. Um, let u, we will also, uh, represent the u as a 4x squared minus 5. Because when you get the du dx, you have 8x, right? You have 8x. So you can see that the x dx here, it can be substituted as a du over 8 later on. Yeah, x dx, x, you bring out the dx, I got the x dx. Then it can be written as a du over 8. So you can see that my question, I can take out the 3 first. When you take out the 3, it will be more obvious eh, to when you come to substitution. The 3, just a coefficient, you can copy down. And this uh, 8, this uh, x dx, later on, I'm going to write it down as a du over 8. And 1 over 4x squared minus 5 is going to be replaced by 1 over u. So the whole thing, the whole function will become all in terms of u. It will become like this. 1 over u, du over 8. The over 8, I'm going to put it uh, outside of the integral. That is 1 over 8. Okay, 1 over 8. So outside, the coefficient is uh, 3 over 8. Integrate 1 over u with respect to u. I got log u plus c. Finally, the u will be uh, 4x squared minus 5. Yeah? Substitute back with the 4x squared minus 5 plus constant c. That's the answer. Same approach I will apply for the question c because question c is not in the form of a constant over a linear function. It's a linear function over quadratic. So for this type of question, again, similar to the question B just now, I'm going to apply the uh, substitution method to integrate. Yeah? We will uh, replace the u as a, uh, sorry, not 8x, but uh, uh, 15, 15 minus 13x squared. Because when I find a du dx, I have, I have a negative 26x, okay? So just bring the 2 over to the front, multiply by negative 13, I got negative 26, multiply by x because uh, the power of 2, you decrease, okay, by 1. And uh, from here, I can see that if you, if you change, if you rewrite your question into this form, you will have uh, x over 15 minus 13x squared. Then now I can see that my x dx, my x dx over here, x, you bring up the dx to the right and bring the negative 26 to the, to the left, you have a 
du over negative 26. Means that the x dx here, later on, I'm going to write it down as a du over negative 26. Alright? And uh, 8, just copy down because 8 is a coefficient. And 1 over 15 minus 13 x squared will be going to replace by 1 over u. Alright? And this is a x dx. It will be the du over negative 26. Over negative 26, I'm not going to write it down here because it's a little weird. I will bring out as a coefficient as a 1 over negative, 20, uh, negative 26. Alright? Then if you want to simplify here, you can simplify first. That will be 4 and 13. So here will be negative 4 over 13. Integrate 1 over u with respect to u, you will have log u plus c. And the u now you can replace back as a 15 minus 13 x squared. 15 minus 13 x squared plus constant c. That is the answer. Similar to the question as a c and a b, here I'm going to take out the negative 5 first. So let you see that here is a x over 3 plus a 2 x squared dx. Where later on I'm going to apply substitution. We let u equals to 3 plus 2 x squared du dx Okay, once we set the u, the step following, uh, followed by the u will be the du dx. du dx equals to 4x. Then I can see that x dx, it can be replaced by du over 4. In my question, that appear, here appear x dx. So it means that later on, this is going to be write down as a du over, over 4. And uh, 1 over 3 plus 2x squared will be 1 over u. Alright. The negative 5 just write down. And you have a 1 over u. du over 4. Over 4, I'm going to uh, put it out as a coefficient. So now you have the coefficient negative 5 over 4. Integrate log u. Uh, sorry, integrate 1 over u. You get log u. Plus constant c. Then later on, final answer, you're going to replace back the u as a 3 plus 2x squared plus constant c. Yeah? I'm going to uh, show you the, uh, quest one, more, one more question. There are uh, consists of six examples all right, uh, for the uh, integration of log. Yeah? So stay tuned. Thank you.